Okay, Voadores, we are back. This time we're gonna get some kicks in for our hyper landings. Um, so one of the most basic kicks that lands in hyper landing is a hook kick, also a compass kick. These are kicks that turn your hips over as you're executing them. And so when you finish the full movement of the compass kick or the hook kick, you're usually in this scale position. Your chest may be up here, or your chest um, may be down. Either way, we're gonna be landing in hyper with hook kicks and compass kicks. So we're gonna go over some kick regimen for our hook kicks and our compass kicks, and then we are also going to make some application into how those can affect other tricks. So let's get started. You're gonna find a wall. This is gonna help us balance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a triple superset series, and this is gonna be for both legs, and we're gonna go through a three-step progression. This is gonna get us all the way through into our hook kick. So, first thing is you're facing the wall, two hands on the wall. From here, you're gonna have your knee up, and the other foot on the ground is facing the wall the whole time. This knee is gonna stay up high, I'm going to push this, this leg straight back until my foot is here into a back kick. So it just goes up and back, up and back. So we're going to do that 10 times for the left leg and 10 times for the right leg. And then move on to the next progression or the next set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You can hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. And you're done. Now we're going to do the other side. Same thing. You're just shoving that leg straight back. It has a stabbing motion. So remember, hook kick, um, compass kick even sometimes. They have a stabbing motion, as opposed to our queixada, armada, even compass kick, which has more of that sweeping motion. All right? So here, other side. You don't need to necessarily spot your kick, but if you do, try to keep your chest facing towards the wall. So here we go. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Now we're going to go back to the left leg, but for this second set, what we're going to do is a side kick. So we're going to use that straight back motion of the back kick and then get our toes um, parallel to the ground. So here, boom, your foot is now the same angle as the floor. You can have your foot flexed, you can point it. This point, it depends on the application, the practicality, and the aesthetic, how you want it to look. So for now, we're just gonna go with our foot in a blade, a natural side kick position. So your foot's not straight like this, but it's turned into the side. So you would kick with the very edge of your foot. We're gonna do that 10 times on both legs. Here we go. One, and this one you spot over your shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for the other leg. Same thing. Shoot your knee up and straight back parallel to the ground. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. So for this final progression and set, what we're going to do is after we reach that side kick, we're going to pull our legs into a chambered position again. This is a re-chamber. So our initial chamber is here before we start. Then you snap and re-chamber. So when we go through the whole thing, we get a hook kick. Boom. 
So you're going to go through that 10 times on both sides and then move on from there. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go for our right leg for this last set, last superset. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. That's our spinning hook kick. Um, should have said spinning earlier, but nonetheless, we still get a nice spin. If we were to also do this from without spinning, then you would start here like you're going into a round, but instead of starting and pivoting here and snapping this way, snap the other direction. So this in capoeira is how you'll see a hook kick probably more often. And in capoeira a hook kick is called gancho. Um, so now we're going to practice drilling our hook kick without the wall, with the spin and without a spin. So let's start with that. Let's do the, the no spin, gancho, hook kick first. Um, we're going to do this one five times on both sides. So from the back, from the back of my Jenga for my lunge, I'm gonna fire that leg up and to the front. When you finish it, try to finish your leg in the back. If you finish in a horse stance, it's not the biggest deal, but for all of your kicks, you do, but for all of your kicks, you do want to finish where you started. As a rule of thumb. So here, let's get it five times on both sides, and then spinning hook kick five times on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Awesome. Now we're going to add the spin into it. When you spin into it, just like going into an armada, you start with that backside fake here, like we're going to go into a queixada. But instead of coming this way, we keep spinning, stab, and kick. All right? Same thing, try to finish in the back. If you end up finishing the horse stance, not the end of the world, but as a rule of thumb again, try to finish the kick where you started it. All right? So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So a final way to go about our hook kick or our gancho is starting in like a queixada and finishing it like a queixada. But in the middle, it's a gancho. All right, that one's really fun to do. So we're gonna do that one as well, five times on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. That is probably my favorite way to go about doing gancho, probably because it's so new to me. I discovered that discovered this as a way to do it, so I've been pretty hooked on it. Hint. Just kidding. Bad pun. Alright, so now we're going to apply our hook kick into some other tricks. So the most basic one that's going to be very important to your foundation 
is called tsunami kick. So a tsunami kick is also known in other martial arts as a step over hook, a swing hook, a skip hook. And so we're going to go through all of those positions, which are the same one, to get our tsunami kick. So we're going to start it from a lunge like this. And you're going to send your knee up like you're doing a round kick. But this knee is going to take you into the air. Once you do that, you're going to jump onto your toes. And now you're set up in that position for your hook kick. So if you add it all together, you swing your knee, land on your foot, and hook kick. Boom. Um, and the higher you swing your knee, and the more you keep your knee like this, the cleaner your hook kick is going to come out from the air. And so this is super critical when we're getting up to higher um, variations of the hook kick, putting it into our twisting flips, like a box cutter or a hyper hook, which are full twists that land with the hook kick. It's really important to use your knees. It's kind of like aiming. Also a jackknife and our cheek seven use that same knee. So here we're going to move up to our tsunami kick and we're going to drill it five times on both sides. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, last one, ten. That was my best one on my right leg that I've done in a while. Cool, so that's our tsunami kick. Most basic way to get into your hook kick in the air. Um, if you mix in your tsunami kick with the tornado, you get a cheat seven. You can also work your tornado kick up to the cheat seven by doing your tornado with your knees and then adding in the tsunami at the end. That's when you add on your hook kick to your tornado kick. Now we can do this off of two feet from a pop and get a backside seven, or it's really a backside 360 hook, but mainstream terminology names are all over the place. No worries, here's what it looks like. Boom. So that's our basic way of landing in hyper, is landing with our hook kick or our compass kick you want, you can substitute all of these with the crescent kick as long as you're ready to pull that momentum back up. And that swing right here is called a master swing or a grand master swing if you're doing it without hands. And now we're going to cover that takeoff in our next segment, flips. Stay tuned for that.